Reggie Lynch. I'm the curator of community engagement at the African Art Museum. Um, and today, me and my fiance, Mark, and our dog, Otis, are um, gonna teach you a craft that you can do at home during this uh, shelter at home period. Um, it's pretty simple, and it's based on a work from our collection um, <clears throat> that's actually in our lobby. It's one of the few artworks in our collection you can actually touch because it's part of the ground. Um, so it's based on an art form called kintsugi, and kintsugi is a Japanese art form where when a piece of ceramic gets broken, um, they'll put it back together using gold. So all of the cracks end up being gold filled, and they kind of look like this. Um, so what we're going to do is a really basic version of that. You can use, we're going to use these little wooden discs that we have. Um, but you could also use like a, a piece of cardboard or you could even do it on paper. Um, lots of different ways to do it. But we're going to show you the basics. So you're, you're basically you're going to need your base. You're going to need some um, foamy brushes, some littler brushes, scissors. You're going to want gold glue. Or you could use a gold pen, and then you're gonna need gold, not gold, regular blue, paint. and regular uh, gold paint. Okay, so we're gonna do it. So this is paint, not glue. That's the paint. Gold, the gold paint. Yes, he's a very good editor. So to start, we gotta cut some circles. So I'm gonna grab your circle. So you can do a couple different things. You could do regular paper, you could do tissue paper. I have regular paper and rice paper. Um, so which do you want to do? I want to do this paper because it looks like concrete. It does look like concrete, that's true. Uh, I'm gonna do the rice paper. So mine will be a little lighter. So the first thing that you need to do is you're gonna lay your base out on your paper and just trace around. Does it need to be in these particular spots? No, it can be anywhere. Yeah. So you're going to trace around. Otis, come here. Come here. Come on. He's very clicky dog. There you go. There you go. So Mark, when do you think you lasted a craft? I want to say 20 years ago. All right. 20 years ago, probably. Yeah. So once you have your circle, like we just got our circles, um, you're going to cut your circle out. Where'd we get all these scissors? We borrowed them from the museum. I happen to have these supplies in my apartment from a, a time when I did one of these crafts off-site, uh, which is why I'm able to do it now. Um, but really, you could do it with anything you have at home. Um, you could use tissue paper, construction paper. Um, we're using gold glue, just so it look, or gold paint, just so it looks a little more um, like the original inspiration, but um, you really could use any color. So, now remember, we're sort of mimicking this broken ceramic, so we're now going to do something kind of fun. We're going to rip our paper, but we've got our circle, so we're essentially going to rip it and then put it back together like it's a puzzle piece on our circle disc. Okay. You got it. Mine kind of looks like pac Mine doesn't. I like it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Do it back straight. So you're going to kind of get yourself set up to start making the piece, and you're you're going to start of start arranging them on your your disc or your square or your Diamond, rectangle, your rhombus, your rhombus, 
This is kind of the trickiest okay. part, probably, because you gotta kind of get it back together. And it's okay if there are spaces showing because we are gonna fill those spaces. Okay. All right. So once you've got your pieces back arranged, you're gonna use your glue. And the best way to do it is to put glue on the base, not on the paper. Yeah. Bye, Otis. Bye-bye. How much? Mm, that should be enough. You don't need much, especially if you're using um, like lighter paper, like tissue paper or this rice paper that I'm using. If you're using construction paper or um, some kind of like really thick paper, you might want to use a little more. And these brushes uh, were really dirty when I pulled them out of the box this morning, so they're <laughs> They're a little hard. So Mark is ahead of me, and now you can start um, putting your paper back on, putting your little puzzle together. So you don't need to worry about imperfections, right? Because that's the basis for this artwork. That's the right. Fact that things were imperfect and then they were made whole again, right? That's right. It's a really nice metaphor um, for when things go wrong or, um, you know, when you're feeling kind of bad, you can always put it back together and uh, make it more beautiful and strong than it was before. No matter how many rips you have. Yeah. And you have to be okay with getting a little messy for this one because you, oh, and if you have a dog, you might end up with dog hairs in your project. Or kid hairs. Or kid hairs. <laughs> you know, if you're doing this with little kids, you might get some kid hairs in there. Maybe some macaroni pieces. That's true. Okay. Let's So once you got your base all set up, um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start adding in your gold. So you mix the paint with the glue? So for this one, we're just going to do the paint because we uh, don't actually have to stick stuff together. But when they do it in ceramics, it is like with a, some kind of adhesive or a bondage or something. That's cool. Yeah. Um, which brush do you want? So you can use any size brush. Um, we're using pretty fine brushes because um, the paper is is pretty thin and stuff. But um, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush and your paint and you're just gonna fill in those cracks just like you would if it was ceramic. That's a lot of paint. So just go along. Yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. And you can um, you can play around with sort of how thick your line is, how thin your line is. If you're um, if when you put your little puzzle back together, um, there are little tears. You can, there are sort of like uneven edges. You can kind of trace those too to give you sort of a a little more uh, interesting of a line. So Mark actually knows the Akron Art Museum pretty well. Do you have a favorite piece from the collection? Favorite piece? Um, I'd say probably the Gleitzman. It's Gleitzman, right? The woman with the gloves? Is that Gleitzman? I think so. I will check that. She's, she's like this. Yeah. And then yeah I, I also like this, uh, this cityscape of a, a booming downtown Akron. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, probably my favorite. What about you? My favorite is Helen Frankenthaler's Wisdom. It's very big. Um, if you've been following along with the museum on uh, social media, we have also been doing little tours of the collection. Um, and I, uh, I did a tour of women artists from our collection. And uh, 
Is it Carrie Mae Weems who did the Kitchen Table mm -hmm. series? That might actually be that. Yeah, that one's pretty great. That's in the collection? Yeah. It's a, uh, because it's a photograph, it's a work on paper, so it has to rest. It was on view not that long ago, but now it's, now it's resting. That's probably it. That is Blythe's Yeah. Pear. So you can add a thin layer, right, and then you can wait for the drying. Yeah. Kind that of looks cool. Pastel on it. Uh -huh. Pasto. I said it like a very Midwestern person. Pasto. <laughs> and pasto and pasto and pasto is uh, when your paint is like thick enough that you can see all the brush strokes in it. Um, so you could add a little, Mark's saying you essentially add a little texture to your work if you want to. This is kind of a relaxing one to do because you, um, you do have to focus a little bit, but um, it's such a small surface that you can kind of get it done quickly and be a fun one to do. You could um, you could sort of even mimic the original technique more um, with with kids with like a styrofoam cup. Maybe you could mix some gold paint and glue together and put the cup back together. Um, there's kind of a lot of, once you know the basic technique you can kind of play around with it. It doesn't have to be gold if you don't have gold paint on hand, right? That's true, yeah, it could be it could be any color. Um, I did this before with the group, um, and they had this really cool, like, copper-looking paint. Um, so a few of them did that, and it looks really neat. So if, if I was at home with kids, and all I had was construction paper, glue, and crayons, mm. could you rip the paper, glue it down, and then take crayon or a magic marker or Sharpie and yeah. mimic it that way? So that would be really cool. If you don't have paint or if you just don't want to get messy, yeah, very cool. And uh, it's actually, it would be a fun one for kids because it's, um, they can practice some of those motor skills, kind of filling in the lines, but um, it's also really open-ended. There's kind of no way to mess this one up. Um, that's true of all art. You can't really mess it up. Actually, Helen Frankenthaler always said there's no such thing as a mistake. It's just about figuring out what to do with your uh, unexpected turns that a work of art can take. That's true. Yeah. How you feeling? Good. Are you going to craft all the time now? I'm a craft person. <laughs> no. Usually the only craft I do is in a mac and cheese. Oh, but um, That's neat. So we went uh, two different two different ways here, huh? Yeah, I went pretty thin. You can kind of see. And I went very, very, very thick. Good. And so we could um, we could wait and let it dry for a while and then go back and add like a Mod Podge layer or a glue layer over top to really seal everything in. Um, and then you could even get some like watertight stuff and turn these into little coasters. Um, there's kind of a lot of different ways. Like I said, once you have the basic um, technique, what do you think? I think we've made art. We did art. And you can do art too. So um, let us know if you try it out. Let us know how it goes. You could even um, share sort of what you make and tag us on Instagram, Facebook, anything like that. Um, we'd love to see it. See what you're doing at home. Thanks so much. Bye.